friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode in case study based question we are going to discuss one more question from coordinate geometry and this is the part 21 previously we have uploaded 20 parts and the links of all these 20 parts are provided in the description box in the pdf format i request you to download the pdf format and watch all the 20 parts so that you will get an idea that which type of questions are asked as case based case study based questions and how to deal with such questions friends i also request you to download the study material from the description box now let us move to the question So friends here is the question suppose we have a hexagonal three dimension dice we cut the dice in three parts and the images of their parts is shown in the co coordinate axis answer the following question here friends it is given that we have hexagonal three dimension dice and we have cut it into three pieces and that pieces are placed on the coordinate axis and we have to answer the questions asked below so here is the first question that find the coordinate of points e and point b of rectangle abde here abde is a rectangle and you have to find the coordinates of b point and the coordinates of e point So first, we will find the coordinates of e points. That will be what e, that is, the distance from x-axis and the distance from y-axis. The distance from y-axis is called as the x-coordinate, and the distance from x-axis is called as the y-coordinate. So here, both the distances are equal. So the b-coordinate will be x8, comma h. now we have to find the coordinates of the point e again i repeat here that x coordinate means what it is the distance from y axis and y coordinate means what it is the distance from x axis so the distance of this point from y axis is 3 and therefore x coordinate is 3 and the distance of this point e from x coordinate is 1 and therefore the y coordinate is 1 and therefore the coordinates of e and b are 3 comma 1 and 8 comma 8 and therefore the a option is the correct option here if the coordinates are not repeated then it is very easier to find the second there is no need to check once you have what 3 comma 1 here correct then there is no 3 comma 1 in other option so definitely the first option will be the correct option so there is no need to check for the b coordinates now move to the second question friends here is a question on the screen find the length of ae of triangle aef friends here this is the triangle aef and you have to find the length of ae side this length you have to find here to find the length you may use the distance formula but here it is not needed uh, you will find the coordinates of e point then the coordinates of a point and then by using the distance formula you can find the ae distance but it is not possible here you can find but it is little bit tedious here when the triangle is placed on the coordinate you can find it very easily just find the distance of e point from y axis so the distance of point e from y axis distance of point e from y axis is what this distance is 11 units this is the 11 so this distance is 11 unit and the distance of point a from y axis is what it is 1 unit 
so this distance of e point is 11 unit and the distance of a point is 1 unit so the distance of this ae line segment will be 10 units that is 11 minus 1 that is 10 units this is the way you have to find but if you have to find this distance then there will be a different way because this line segment is horizontal which is parallel to x axis you can find it very easily so the distance of e point first you will find that is 11 units and then you will find the distance of a point from y axis that is 1 unit and then 11 units minus 1 units that will be equal to 10 units and therefore the correct option will be the c option that is 10 units find the distance b d you have to find the distance BD. This distance BD you have to find. It is again same. This distance of the point B from X axis is what? It is 12. This is 12 units. This point is at a, po uh, at a distance of 12 units from X axis. And this distance of point D from X axis is what? 1 and 2 units. And therefore this distance BD that will be what 12 minus 2 that will be 10 units. So the distance BD is also 10 units and so the C option is the correct option. Now let us move to the next question. Find the perimeter of a rectangle ABDE. Here ABDE is a rectangle. Correct. <coughs> and we have to find the perimeter of this rectangle. How do we find the perimeter of the rectangle? Re perimeter means what? The total distance of the boundary. This is the boundary. And the total distance of boundary will be what? AB plus BD plus DE plus AE. Just find the distances. So if you have to find the distance ED, how you will find the distance of D point is 8. And the distance of E point from Y axis is 3. So it will be 8 minus 3. So it will be 5 units. And since this is a rectangle, this opposite side will also be 5 units. Okay. Now we have to find this distance or this distance. Suppose you are finding AE distance. So A point is at a distance of 8 units from X axis. And E point is at a distance of 1 unit. So this total will be 8 minus 1 so this distance will be 7 units and so opposite side will be also equal because it is a rectangle and so it is 7 units now the total distance of the boundary will be what 10 and 10 5 and 5 10 7 and 7 14 so 14 and 10 that will be 24 units and therefore the b option is the correct option now let us move to the last question. Friends, out of the five questions, you have to solve any four in the examination. And each question will have, each sub question will have one mark. And so here, uh, fifth question is find the coordinate of intersection point of diagonals. Here the question is asked that if you join the diagonals of this ABDE, these are the diagonals and you have to find the coordinates of this intersection point. Let this point be O. Let this point be O and you have to find the coordinates of O point. Friends, here I have not given the options to you and you have to solve this and give the answer through the comment box. This is for the homework. So here Find the coordinates of the intersection point of the diagonals. AD and BE are the diagonals and its intersection point is O. And you have to find <coughs> the coordinates of this point O and that is for homework. And you have to answer the question uh, through the comment box. So friends, up till now we have seen the 11 questions, sorry 21 questions of case study based questions. And I hope you must be getting an idea that how this question should be dealt with. And I hope today you must have enjoyed this video. 
If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.